epic grand final between two very talented teams. Fiery, both of them, feisty, passionate, but equally as skilled each other, both deserving grand finalists. Uh, we should see a very, very close encounter here today. I can't really say who the favourites are. I'm picking maybe a slight favourite favourites tag to maybe Lebanon because the, they've had a tougher road to get here. Uh, but in saying that, New Zealand, a very composed side uh, with many experienced tag players on the side. Um, this is going to be a cracker, Rusty. Absolutely, mate. Um, yeah, I'm going to put my um, five cents on Lebanon. I think they've just been outstanding throughout the tournament and uh, I just love the energy, mate. They're just so feisty as well. They nice, are. But they've got a lot of pace. But what I love about their, their style of football is that they play right to the last second. They, they, they chase everything. They, every kick, they've got chases there. And any missed tag, they've got chases there. Just just love their energy and their enthusiasm, mate. They're hungry. Their desire is huge. So they're going to be, they, they will be hard to beat. But as you say, their composure for the Kiwis is quite good. It's a big, important factor as well. I can't pick a winner, mate. It's, it's too close to call, but... Like I said, unders, unders for Lebanon at this stage. Unders for Lebanon. Unders for Lebanon. 12 and under. So I've got the New Zealand side lining up. Number one there, Sophia Severe. Number five, Johnny Puleanga. Zero, Tran Fong Ha. 19, Joseph Kenner. Nine, Singy Saini. 15, Johnny Henry. 12, George Puleanga. 23, Stephen Roberts. 11, Henry Puleau Puleo. 10, George Tyner. 1, Christian Tomalau. 32, Iga Slade. 65, Frank Benedict. 20, Matrix Kohiva. 24, Ropuna Elia Leowa. 18, Jacob Ma Masoy. 29, Daryl Bant. And number 3, Junior Brown. And we have a quick, quick scoring um, raid by the Lebanese team to get an easy one point lead immediately. There you go. They've started fast. See, they've just got Quick out of the blocks. Lebanon. This is amazing. Very energetic team. A lot of chatter in this team. Yes. Once again, momentum definitely in the favour of the Lebanese players at the end, the early stages of the game. Oh, they've got some intensity about them, um, Claude, you and I watched the, uh, the uh, quarter-final yesterday and we saw that um, great matchup with the uh, Aotearoa Māori and the intensity was, 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 was there Ooh. right through to the end. You know, when the Māori's had the advantage, they came back in the last two minutes and won the game, so yeah. they, they they've just got a tenacity about them. They just don't give up. They continue to, to fight and they just play with such electric speed and footwork as well, so they're going to be so hard for the New Zealand to contain. <laughs> One thing about this New Zealand side, though, is they, they bring a lot of composure and a lot of experience in this team. New Zealand get their first chance at possession. This team led by the very talented Daryl Samp and George Palainga. They have very experienced middles. Yep. And we'll keep this uh, Lebanese team uh, honest in this game. Here they go. Let the ball go. Nice series from the New Zealand Invitationals. As they hit it wide. Number 10 for Maldives. George Tania. Oh, it's a basic error by the Invitationals, giving it away. Lebanon with possession, five metres off their line as they ruck it out. Good settle by number 11. Number 11, Eddie L. Keck, I'm not sure, yes. Lebanon have to reset on that D. Lucky yes. there. Invitation was in prime position. Their pass uh, drifted forward so slightly and the touchy picked it up. Okay, but Daryl Sense, the uh, captain.
Invitational's going wide. A great outside. And that's the reply from the New Zealand side. Overs run by number 20 for New Zealand. Uh, Invitational's. Matrix Kohiva. Matrix Kohiva. Some serious skills there. Levels the scores up now. One each. Number three for the Invitational's kicking off. Junior Brown. Bringing it back. Lebanon taking it up for a quick settle. And moving to the right. Trying to go a short raid. Keeping it tight. Lebanon searching, looking around for some half gaps. Dropping a nice kick on, beautifully kicked. Well done. Lebanon hitting it wide. Wrap around. He's gotten through. Fifth and final. Lebanon sending it back in the green zone. Looking for a wrap. Grubbing it, put it through on his foot. New Zealand has retained possession. Good defence from the New Zealand side there, covering up the two-point zone. Very hard to scoop, and, and uh, as you wouldn't touch from dummy half and tag, because you're allowed a dummy half marker, as it was evident there. You could see all that jinking, got him nowhere. This game is important to both teams in, in respect to who can absorb the early pressure. Smart Stay composed. There during the penalty, and the way he went into that contact, could have easily gone either way, but he was smart there and drew the penalty. Knocked back by Lebanon. Referee giving another penalty. <laughs> Invitationals. Get, regaining position on a penalty. Tapping on the restart. Ten metres in from their half. By number five, Johnny Bullyanga. Ah, oh, great half break by number 29. He's, he could go all the way here. He did. I think he offloaded that ball. What a try. Daryl Samp. Was that Daryl Samp, was it? Touches to come in here. Got a bit of a conference here. Was the pass, was the pass good? Forward pass. No try. Oh, well, that's what it's looking like. I oh, know he's blown it up. Here we go. That was the right call. Let's try for New Zealand. New Zealand take the lead, 2-1. It's lovely work. Big break in, uh, lovely break there by Daryl Sant, captain. He's able to, able to get that ball. Out, out Silky his, uh, skills from Daryl Sant. Didn't get the number of the scorer though. Uh, quarter. Uh, apologies there um, for our viewers at home. Lebanon taking it out from their red zone. Good defence by number 32 for New Zealand. Inga Slade. Keeping them, keeping them honest and, and pinned in their half. Oh, great kick. This could be a good 50-10 here. Ooh, not quite. Goes into the end zone. Bring the ball out 10 metres. Restart play. The NZ Invitationals are very blessed with very good middles, as is, as is Lebanon. Uh, but I th I'd say the difference is the depth of the bench that the Invitationals has. There are some very skilled players there that have very, very good offloading abilities. Invitationals letting it go. Looking for an early kick. Johnny Pulianga feeds off on the inside. To the very big 81. Safata Savia. As we here we go. As we had alluded earlier, this is a game where 
all shapes and sizes can play this game. Yeah, New Zealand has their tendency now, just uh, back to back sets here with their penalty now. No contact there, called by the referee. New Zealand playing it safe, doing simple settles. They go to the right, steps out, coming back on the inside cut. Halfway through this first half of this grand final, and it's a very even match. Good run by number 12, George Pulleyinga, the vice captain. Looking for those half gaps. Inside late cut, looking for an inside runner. Lebanon complete the set of six. Good opportunity for them to ruck it out. Keep it simple. Turn their subs over. Get out of the 10 metre zone. Nice uh, tag there by Tran Fong. Invitational is running a permanent fullback. Winger dropping back. 50 10 going their way. Perfect kick that one there. That was a great kick. Huge advantage for Lebanon now on the front foot. A full set of six, starting from the 10 metres, 10 metre line, just off the try line. Here's an opportunity for Lebanon to score here. And there we go. Little man on big man. Little man will always win on that little step and shimmy. Aravat. Ties up the scores there, two apiece. Both sides here going tit for tat. Very evenly matched uh, <laughs> grand final here today, as we expected. They got a lot of steppers in this team. This Lebanese Lebanese team. Oh, basic error, basic error by number one, Christian uh, Talamanu. Talamanu <laughs> putting unnecessary pressure. Now Lebanon with a full set of six, a six, hard on attack. Can they bring this back? Lebanon, options on the attack. Going for the show and go. By number seven. Arkin Konak. Okay, referees penalised him. I'm not sure what the penalty was for. They're trying to milk the penalty. Six. Invitationals trying to get started. Was it just, just the end of the set there? Yeah. yeah okay. Invitationals on the restart. Ten metres off their line. Options on the right as they take it back down the middle. Lebanese line speed has been um, on point, but you know that niggle in the in the ruck area, totally unnecessary because you know it just it just causes the the recount on the set. Here they go. The uh, I must say that the Lebanese look a little bit more composed than they did yesterday. They called they were, they were a bit feisty yesterday. They were. They seem to be a bit more calm and composed today. Absolutely, they do too. Two apiece in this game. Kiwis need to get out of their half. See the captain there, Daryl Daryl Samp. Play the ball there. Johnny Henry with the play of the ball. 
fifth and final. And that's come off the Lebanese player. What's the referee going to call there? Linesman's call. Who gets possession? Daryl Sam trying to argue the point. New Zealand's ball. Okay, sneaky, sneaky blindside right there by number three. Junior Brown. Junior Brown. A five. Oh, inside cut there. Almost. Not square on the on the, on the marker. Another set of six. Lebanon under pressure on that line. What's New Zealand got here? Nothing down that blind side. Sending it back to the left. Here we go, flat pass. He's in again. That's a try. Captain Daryl Samp there with the show and go. New Zealand. Get back into the lead by one. Score now three points to two. New Zealand invitation leads this game. Just over five minutes left in the first half. Three two, New Zealand. Great recovery from the Lebanese player. Unnecessary pass, but all the same. Just settling into the game. Great defense. Oh, wow. Not play that. 22 for Lebanon. Jenkins and, and driving his way through there. Basil Ayad. Mm, unlucky. Unlucky. Three for New Zealand. Three. Stephen Roberts. Keeping that left side link open. Goes to dummy half. Throws it to 20. Matrix Kohiva. He pulled it. It's referee, does it? Dave Wilson? Two minutes to go here. New Zealand trying to just extend that lead before half time. Very messy play the ball there. Back there. It's going to be Three a restart. No. Caught him on the line. Contact there going into a stationary defender. Lebanon getting a piggyback out of their own half. 
certainly are there with that uh, second penalty in a row. No one home in the backyard here. Ooh, ball over the try line. Pop up there. Mm. Stop. Pop that ball there. Another try there. And the Lebanese. And then protect their lead. New Zealand slowing the play down. Just over a minute to go in the first half here. And New Zealand forced to drop out from their line. Had to defend one more set. It's a good drop out. That's a great drop out. Getting it all the way into that in, uh, into the other half of the Lebanese team. And oh. pass and it's a fumble. And New Zealand will get the last set here with uh, just under a minute to go. Opportunity here to get uh, one more on the board before half time. And there he is. Oh, Trent Vaughan. Heard the Vietnamese side are chasing him for the next World Cup. Oh, for sure, for sure. Mr. Ha. Oh, look at that turn of pace. Restart for New Zealand. Hard on attack. They'll be looking for a half. Court. Oh, lazy tag. There it is. Lazy tag. There it is. 4 2. Oh, Georgie Tyner there. Scoring right before the, um, the hooter. So New Zealand taking a 4-2 lead. Right on half time. Still in it though. Still a very close game. Anything can happen. Yeah, but credit to the uh, New Zealand side there. They're, they're playing very well at the moment. And uh, 